Hi, I'm Gwendolyn Hart, Product Manager for Content Manager. With the release of Content Manager 23.4, our new integrations with OpenText Brava and Blazon technologies offer a wide range of new features in the areas of redaction, rendering, viewing, and annotations. This video will provide a quick review of these new features in 23.4 adapted to some real life use cases. Before we begin, please note that these new features are only available today from the Content Manager desktop client, which is why in these demos, you will see me using the desktop client. You can expect these features in the web interface further down the line. The best way to demonstrate the new features is to look at a real life use case and how Content Manager would help you solve this. In this use case, your colleague from Customer Technical Support is asking for a copy of a customer contract. The colleague, however, is not authorized to view the contract unless you first redact sensitive data from the contract before sharing it. The solution, of course, is to use Content Manager to search for the contract, find the sensitive keywords that need to be redacted, possibly run a custom auto redact script, and then authorize your colleague to access the final redacted file. Let's have a look at how you do that. The first step, of course, is to search for the file and then view it to check we have the correct contract. So let's start with some obvious new features. Brava and Blazon are now present in Content Manager alongside KeyView technology. This means we are now increasing the number of supported file types that can be viewed from Content Manager. You'll also notice further on in our demo that .tiff formats are no longer required for redactions. So in Content Manager 23.4, we won't be transforming your files to TIFF formats anymore. We'll be working directly from any file type, and if we need to redact, we'll render them into PDFs. Furthermore, the Brava and Blazon technology also come with extra compression and the dropping of the TIFF format also saves space. Let's see this in a demo. From my Content Manager desktop client, my first step, of course, is to search for the contract that my colleague is asking for. He's asking for the AVEX contract. So I've simply searched for AVEX, located the customer contract, and I can check in the properties based on the date and the author that this is the correct document. Of course, I probably wanna preview the document just to check that it is the right contract and that I've got all the correct information. If I go on the rendition tab, you can see there's no existing rendition yet for this document. So now let's see what happens when I take it to the next step and redact this document. The Brava integration with Content Manager 23.4 provides many new features in the redaction space. We're going to have a look at those features now, but particularly we wanted to highlight the find and redact functionality, the auto redact functionality, and the ability to provide custom scripts for auto redaction. Let's have a look at that now. Now that I have located the contract that my colleague is requesting, I need to redact sensitive information so that I can send him a copy because he's not authorized to view that sensitive information. If I go into new, new redaction, the first thing that I can do in this redaction interface is obviously view the document. We have options down here for rotating, for changing the fit, zooming in and out, etc. The second thing I might want to do is search for information I'd like to redact. So for example, if I've determined that the name of the customer who signed this contract is privileged information, I may want to search for that name and see where it appears. Searching for Johan gives me the hit here on my view. But if I click term hit, it's actually going to highlight all occurrences throughout the document. So if I keep scrolling, I will see Johan's name also highlighted where he's signed. But if this document is hundreds of pages, 
probably what will be most useful is this search results that pops up all the pages and occurrences of the term that I'm searching for. Now that I've identified what I'm looking for and what I'd like to redact, let's go on to redacting it. By clicking redact up here, my redaction options appear on the left navigation pane. I've got several different options based on what I'd like to do. So I can, for example, redact an entire area of text. I can also leave blank an area of text within a redaction as well. Please note when I'm redacting, I have a color up here that I can change if I wish to. And I also have a reason for the redaction, in this case, personal data. Now I could go through and manually redact all the Johans that I found, but something more sensible may be to use the find and redact functionality. I can type in Johan's name, and in this case, let's say I want a blue redaction and to use the reason that it's a private name. I can now see that Johan's name has been highlighted in blue with the reason private name. Now that we've done find and redact, let's take it up a level and use some auto redaction functionality. Let's say I didn't even know Johan's name or I don't know the value of an information, but I know the type of information that I want to redact. For example, a social security number. Perhaps I want to leave the last four digits visible because my colleague does need to see that to identify the client, but he doesn't have the rights to view the full number. Um, and let's also put in, um, for example, an email address. Now we will redact that in black and we will go back to our personal data reason. And we can see that the social security number has been redacted, leaving the last four as we indicated, and the email has been redacted um, as we hope it to be leaving the end for context. So now that we've seen how the default redact privacy info scripts work, um, don't feel that you are limited to those because you can also use any of your own custom scripts. So here we have a series of scripts um, that exist, but of course you could choose to add your own, write your own scripts or a list of keywords, uh, templates, and use these as available for auto redaction as well. So now that all the redaction has been successfully done, we can now save. And this will now take us to the redacted copy. This is a rendition, of course. So if we preview the redacted copy, we will see the redacted information. So you can see here, it has the reason, personal data on top, um, private name. So the reasons for redaction appear above the redaction. And this is the copy that I could now send to my colleague, or as you know, in Content Manager, I could simply go in and change the security access to this document to give him rights to view this version. Now, don't worry, I still have access to the original. So if I go into navigation and go to redacted from, I can go back to the original document. And if I look at the rendition, which now exists for this document, I will be able to see the redaction that has been done, but I can still read the content because uh, I have access to the original. And of course, I can still view the original non-redacted. So I can make as many redactions as I'd like. Um, so I could create another redaction for another use case, redacting different information. Or at any point, I can see what are all the redacted copies that exist for a document. In this case, there's just this one. And again, if I were to actually preview this file, I would see the redacted version. And you can see that here. The Brava integration doesn't just offer redaction benefits, 
It also offers new features to the annotations functionality, which is when you want to mark up a document that you're working on to highlight or to collaborate. So we're going to look at those annotation features with another real life use case. Before we start, though, a small note on annotations. If you were using annotations on a previous version and you choose to upgrade to 23.4, we do support those previous annotations, but please make sure that they are saved or burnt in using the old terminology so that um, any drafts which are not saved will get lost in the upgrade. So just make sure that you save all the annotations that you're working on and finalize them or burn them if you are going to upgrade to using 23.4 annotations. With that, let's have a look at the use case and the demo. The use case here is a quick and easy one. So on that same contract that you redacted and identified for your colleague, uh, this colleague has now come back with a question about whether the contract contains a 24 hour support clause. You want to make sure that this is very visible. So you're going to highlight the support clause using annotations. Let's have a look at how that would work. Now, let's say that my colleague wanted to ask about that extra support contract. And I want to highlight where in the document that clause is. I can now use the annotation functionality. So I'm going to annotate on top of this redacted file. So once again, annotations, same viewing features that we had before, same hit highlighting options. Um, if I search for AVEX, for example, still going to have that returned as a term hit if I ask for it. I wanted to point out, by the way, that this works even for documents, um, as you can see, that are renditions, redacted, or that have OCR text. So we're still able to do the search highlighting on OCR text documents as well. So what I wanted to do for this one is highlight the support agreement. This is the clause. The company shall provide premium support package of 24 hour availability. This is what my colleague was asking for. So this is just an option. But if I want to, I could essentially highlight this or make notes using annotations. This can be used for different use cases. Maybe I'm working on a draft copy of a contract with someone. So I could use it to cross off certain clauses. Um, but in this case, I want to underline something that my colleague is looking for. And maybe I'm going to make it really stand out by highlighting that 24 hour availability that he asked for. OK, so once I'm done with my annotations, I'm going to save those as a PDF. If I click save, then I can come back and work on it as draft that I could still work on. But I clicked save as PDF. So it is now a PDF, which is now redacted with that extra annotation on it. So we have the redaction. And then if I scroll to the second page, we have the notes that I've made the support agreement highlighted for my colleagues clear visibility. This concludes our demo on 23.4 new rendering, redaction, annotation and viewing functionality for content manager desktop users. Thank you for watching. Do send us your feedback. Let us know which features you enjoy and which you'd like to see developed further. Thanks for watching from the product management team.